Hello widget watchers, welcome back to another video. In today's video we are going to cover everything about the cards in Flutter. So let's get started. So here I have already created a default Flutter project. Now for starting, let's remove this my homepage class from here and then here create a new stateful widget as Flutter card example. Then call this widget from the my app. Okay. Then come inside the build method and from here remove this empty placeholder and here add a scaffold widget. Then for body here add a center widget and for its child just simply call the simple card method. Okay. Now let's just create the simple card method and this is a widget so here add the return type as widget then from here just return a card widget okay then for its child here add a padding widget and give the padding of 16 from all the sides okay then for its child here add a text widget which will say this is a basic card okay now if you save the code then you can see on this screen we are having a simple card widget okay now let's customize this card but before customizing let's increase the font size a bit so here change the font size to 20 now save the code yeah now it's good now come inside the card widget and here add the elevation so elevation will provide the shadow to your card so here add the elevation as 10 now if you save the code then you can see we are having great shadow okay now let's add the shape property now here add the rounded rectangle border and add the border radius of 16 now if you save the code then you can see our corner is rounded okay now you can change it increase it and do anything what you want to do in the card okay now here let's also add the border for this card so for that here add the side property then add border side then add the color as black and width as 2 now you can see our card is having a border but change the width to 1 i think that will look much cool so i have changed the width and yeah now it's looking fine now let's see that how we can add the multiple child in our card widget so for that here wrap your padding widget inside a column and here just simply add a main axis alignment at center then here add an image now for that here i'm going to use network image so add image.network then add the url of image okay now if you save the code then you can see uh, the image is taking the whole available width and height so let's change it so for that here add the height as 150 okay now if you save the code then you can see the width part is fine for the card but it is taking all available height okay so for fixing this issue come inside the column widget and here add the main exercise as min now if you save the code and run the application then you can see our card is looking much fine but the image is touching the card so let's fix this by wrapping the column widget inside the padding widget and add the padding of 16 and save the code and yeah now it's looking cool okay now let's remove this column and let's see how we can add the list in the card so for that here remove the padding and column widget and here add the list style widget and for leading here add a star icon and for color let's add the amber color to it then for its title here add a text widget which will say card with an icon and for subtitle again add a text widget and add the description as per your requirement now if you save the code then you can see our card is changing to list style but this list style is having all the properties of card okay now you can change the elevation to 5 because the elevation 10 is looking too hard on the list style but now yeah it is fine now let's grab this list style widget inside the column widget and here add the button bar but uh, button bar is deprecated so let's add an elevated button here and for text here add action one then copy this text widget and add it one more time now if we save the code and run the application then you can see our card is not right so change the main exercise to min now save the code and yeah now it is looking fine our card is with two buttons okay now uh let's remove this column widget from here and let's make our card as gradient color so for that here add the container widget then for decoration add the box decoration then for gradient here add the linear gradient and here add the uh lead blue and purple color okay now for child here add the padding widget and add the padding of 16 from all the side then for text here add the text widget which will say card with gradient color now if you save the code and run the application then you can see uh, our card is having the gradient color but uh, the containers edges are so hard so let's fix this by adding the border radius to this container now if you save the code and run the application then 
it is looking perfectly fine. Now let's make this card as interactable. So for that wrap this container widget inside a gesture detector and for its on tap method here just print card tap. Now if you save the code and when you tap onto this card then you can see in the console we are seeing that card is tap. So in, this card is interactable okay. Now let's add the multiple card in a single view. So for that uh, remove the center widget from here and here add the list view widget and then add a for loop which will run from 0 to 10 and then return the simple card from here then if we save the code then you can see we can see the multiple cards okay now you know almost everything about the card but there is one more thing uh let's change the shadow of this card so for that uh simply remove everything and here just add a simple padding and text widget now come inside the card widget and here add the shadow color and let's add the shadow of red now if you save the code then you can see from our card we can have a red shadow so i guess this is it for card now i think you know all about the card and that's it for this video if you enjoyed this video then please give us a thumbs up and please comment it down below what you like or what you don't like about this video and i'll see you in the next one till then bye bye